Barbara Oakley, learn like a pro, science-based tools to become better at anything. Get ready to elevate your learning skills with our summary of a learn like a pro, science-based tools to become better at anything by Barbara Oakley. Discover practical techniques that help you improve focus, overcome procrastination, and enhance your ability to absorb complex information. Among the powerful methods we'll discuss are the Pomodoro Technique for effective time management, focused and diffuse thinking for problem solving, and active learning strategies to master new material. The insights in this book summary will empower you to take control of your learning process and reach your full potential. The Pomodoro Technique for Ultimate Focus Do you struggle to focus in today's world? Victor Hugo did too, but he worked naked. Luckily, there's a modern solution, the Pomodoro Technique. Italian student Francesco Cirillo divided his learning into 25-minute chunks of focus, called Pomodoros, separated by 5-minute breaks. During each Pomodoro, remove distractions and work with as much focus as possible. This technique stops multitasking and improves cognitive performance by 30 to 40%. Try the Pomodoro Technique for Ultimate Focus and Productivity. Mastering Diffuse Thinking This book summary reveals the secret to solving difficult problems switching between focused and relaxed thinking. The authors suggest that the brain uses two critical modes for absorbing information and thinking through it, namely focused mode and diffuse mode. While focused thinking is better suited for solving problems with existing information, diffuse thinking can sort through and absorb new information more easily. The Pomodoro Technique is an example of focused mode that requires paying close attention to a task. However, when learning something new and complex, like differential calculus, solely relying on focused mode may hit a wall. To break through the impasse, the authors suggest harnessing the power of diffuse mode, where the brain can work through the problem in a relaxed state or while doing any mindless activity. The diffuse mode allows the brain to make remarkable connections that may be invisible while intensely focusing. Mindless activities like brushing your teeth, doing the dishes, or going for a walk can activate this mode necessary for solving tough problems. The hard start technique can be used to activate the diffuse mode while studying. It involves scanning through all the content, marking the most challenging questions, and starting with the hardest. When you get stuck, move to an easier question and then back to the difficult question again. To find a solution to challenging problems, it's essential to switch between focused and diffuse thinking mode, which allows the brain to analyze information from various views. Remember, it's better to take breaks, relax, and engage in mindless activities like daydreaming to solve tough problems effectively. Active learning. To deeply learn new material, an active approach is essential. Making connections between neurons through synapses helps to strengthen knowledge. While traditional memorization can be effective, the active learning method, such as elaboration and interleaving, require more from your brain, making you think harder and grasp concepts more efficiently. Furthermore, exercise and sleep are also crucial in the learning process. The Attentional Octopus and Effective Learning Techniques Discover the attentional octopus metaphor and practical approaches to move information from working memory to long-term memory. Imagine waking up one morning to find that you have transformed into a four-legged octopus. This octopus is an illustration of your working memory, which is responsible for holding short-term information. Unfortunately, the legs of this attentional octopus are slippery and can only hold between three to five thoughts at once, leading to a precarious juggling act. To become an effective learner, it is vital to move information from your working memory to your long-term memory, which has endless capacity. The long-term memory houses preformed links of information that can be recalled at any time as extensions of your short-term memory. The book suggests a few strategies to prioritize the transfer of information from working memory to long-term memory. First, break the material into more manageable chunks, focusing on short passages before stringing them together one by one until you can recall the entire piece. Second, translate complex information into simpler terms that are easily understood. 
Finally, for note-taking, use the split notes method, where you make two uneven columns on a page, jotting down notes in the right-hand column and summarizing the essential ideas in the left column. By adopting these learning techniques, you can efficiently transfer information to your long-term memory, allowing you to easily recall concepts and ideas without the need for any relearning. The Power of Procedural Learning Learning a new skill requires reliance on the declarative learning system. However, with enough training, the procedural system kicks in to turn learned knowledge into fast-acting intuition. This process allows one to perform tasks like riding a bike or serving a tennis ball with little conscious thought. In contrast to the declarative system, the procedural system operates in the background, receiving input from the outside world without being visible to conscious effort. This black box of the mind is responsible for making learned knowledge automatic. As a result, individuals may adapt the self-explanation method when studying subjects like math or a foreign language and practice retrieving new words or expressions using a spaced repetition system. Although it may take time for new skills to migrate to one's procedural learning system, starting early can prepare oneself for more advanced material later on. Exam Preparation Tips Exam success depends on various factors, not just knowing the material. Solving old test questions and discussing the material with others is crucial. Full practice tests are better than just individual practice questions. Reading and following directions carefully is important. To ace the test, it's essential to manage time carefully and not just try to examine answers since it doesn't help procedural memory. Think about thinking. Many people lack the ability to evaluate their skills objectively because they lack metacognitive skills, which means they do not reflect on their thinking and seek feedback. The key message here is to become a metacognitive learner. You can train your metacognitive thinking by asking yourself questions periodically. Canadian psychologists Phil Wynn and Alison Hadwin have developed a four-step model for self-regulated learning. The first step is to understand the task at hand, the second step is to set goals and make a concrete plan, the third step is to begin learning, and the final step is to evaluate your progress and revise your approach if necessary. By using these learning techniques and evaluating yourself critically at each stage, you can learn effectively and efficiently. In conclusion, Learn Like a Pro provides you with an arsenal of powerful tools and techniques to maximize your learning potential. Some key takeaways include the Pomodoro Technique for staying focused, active learning strategies like elaboration and self-explanation, and understanding the difference between focused and diffuse thinking. Furthermore, you'll learn how to leverage your procedural system to turn knowledge into intuition, and become a metacognitive learner who constantly reflects on and improves learning approaches. By applying the methods outlined in this book summary, you'll be well-equipped to tackle any learning challenge that comes your way and thrive in today's fast-paced world.